This is the fourth video about the motor control circuit and in this one you can see how to make the power circuit. Now we're back to an empty my first project so I just cheated a little bit. We're going to start by uh, making the power circuit and I'll simply start by uh, going to the component database. Click the database, go to motors and uh, I'll select this three phase motor 1.1 kilowatt. Click it and as you see my router is active so uh, twice the um, larger than. Press this one, call it M1, control and plus. We can try that this time and then I'll simply just add four motors here and they are not very aligned. I can mark them, right click, click space, place it here in current path 1 and give it a uh, space of 40 millimeters, align, sort by name, and then I'm ready to make my the rest of this power circuit. If I look up here, I didn't show that yet before, but up here I have components in my pick menu. I don't just have symbols, I also have components. And one of my components here is a contactor with a three pole and normally open, normally closed contacts. If I click this one, you can see that this component consists of various electrical functions such as a, a coil and three phase um, a contact and a three control circuit contacts. This is all in one component. And if I'm going to place this one on my power uh, page, I'll click this symbol here and simply place it on the lines here. The lines will open. I'll only need to give it a number because this is number one see a small picture too, and place it here, and uh, that's it. If I also want this uh, motor protection, motor overload protection, I can click this one, click this one, and again click it here, give it a number, and F1, and that's it. Do that once again. This one, click the first one, click the three-phase symbol here, place it, be a little aware that you, you need to break the lines here. You can also always align them uh, horizontally, but uh, you need to, to open the, the, the wire. And then again, one of those um, thermal overloads and place it here and call it F2. OK. And again, you can align it. Right click, align, and click this one, align here, and uh, click this one. Ah, I didn't. It didn't want to press a space one. Align and click here and now they are aligned. So those two first components are placed here. I could also go in mark this one control C and then use my arrows and place this one. It's aligned then and um, oh cancel this one or I could mark it and then use my my mouse to to place this one and it will pop up with this window here um, asking me to rename my symbols and um, that would of course be okay because the symbols should be renamed and that's okay. So this is how you can make uh, some of your power circuit. The rest of my components are here uh, and um, they'll be here for um, for my control circuit in just a second.